China's ambitious space program faced an unexpected jolt with the recent failure of the Lijin 1Y6 rocket. This mission, carrying critical satellites and international payloads, was a testament to China's growing dominance in the commercial space industry, until it wasn't. As the rocket self-destructed shortly after launch, it marked a rare blemish in an otherwise historic year for China, with a record-breaking 68 launches. What went wrong? Why does this failure matter amidst such monumental progress? Let's delve into the heart of this story and uncover what it means for China's future in the competitive space race. The Lijin-1 rocket, developed by CAS Space, has been a symbol of China's rapidly advancing commercial space industry. It's a solid propellant launch vehicle designed to carry multiple satellites into orbit at a competitive cost. Before the December 26th failure, the Lijin-1 had successfully completed five missions since its inaugural flight in 2022, deploying 57 satellites into orbit. This track record made the rocket a key player in China's efforts to dominate the commercial satellite launch market. The ill-fated launch took place at the Dongfeng Commercial Space Innovation Test Area at the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center. The rocket carried a diverse payload, including CASA ASAT, a French-supported satellite designed to study the South Atlantic magnetic anomaly, and DEAR-3, a Chinese spacecraft intended for scientific research. Shortly after liftoff, the rocket's third stage lost attitude control three seconds into ignition, triggering its self-destruct mechanism. This preemptive measure prevented the rocket from posing a danger to populated areas or other spacecraft, but marked the end of a highly anticipated mission. The failure is particularly notable because it challenges the reliability reputation of Lijin-1, which has been celebrated for its cost efficiency and ability to deliver payloads to low Earth orbit. Just a month earlier, the same rocket successfully deployed 15 satellites, including a remote sensing satellite for Oman, China's first international client for the Lijin-1. That mission demonstrated the rocket's potential to attract global customers, further elevating CAS Space's status. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and risks of space exploration. Even with meticulous planning and advanced technology, the margin for error remains razor thin. CAS Space has launched an investigation to determine the cause of the failure, which will be critical for future missions and for maintaining client confidence. Despite this setback, the company is moving forward with plans for its next-generation Lijin 2 rocket, set to debut in 2025 highlighting its resilience and commitment to innovation. While the Legion 1 failure captured headlines, it shouldn't overshadow the monumental achievements of China's space program in 2024. With 68 launches, China broke its previous record of 67 launches set in 2023, solidifying its position as a leading spacefaring nation. These launches resulted in over 260 spacecraft being deployed into orbit, a new national record and a significant leap from the 221 spacecraft launched the previous year. The diversity of missions this year reflects China's multifaceted approach to space exploration. State-owned entities like the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC played a dominant role, but commercial players like CAS Space, Landspace, and Orion Space also made significant contributions. For instance, CAS Space's November mission deployed 15 satellites, including one for Oman, while Orion Space debuted its Gravity One rocket. These accomplishments highlight the growing influence of China's commercial sector alongside its state-backed programs. However, the rapid expansion of China's space activities has revealed certain limitations. A significant number of launches relied on older, hypergolic-fueled Long March rockets, which are reliable but not as advanced as newer alternatives. Out of the 68 launches, nearly half were conducted using the Long March 2nd, 3, and 4 series. In contrast, lighter, more modern rockets like the Lijin-1, Jilong-3, and Series-1 accounted for 17 launches. This reliance on legacy technology underscores the need for China to modernize its fleet to maintain its competitive edge. Another challenge lies in the bottleneck at China's launch facilities. Major spaceports like Jichuan and Jishang were operating at near capacity, handling 21 and 19 launches, respectively. To address this, China is developing new commercial launch areas at Wenchang and Jiquan and expanding its capabilities for sea launches. 
These efforts aim to increase the nation's launch capacity and reduce delays for both state and commercial missions. Despite these hurdles, the numbers speak for themselves. China's 68 launches put it firmly in second place globally, behind the United States, which conducted over 150 launches in 2024, largely driven by SpaceX. Russia, in comparison, managed only 17 launches, continuing its downward trend. China's commercial space sector has been rapidly transforming, driven by domestic demand and international interest. Companies like Caspace are at the forefront of this shift, pushing boundaries to meet the needs of a global market. However, the recent failure of the Lijin-1 rocket underscores the high stakes involved in this competitive landscape. One of the most striking aspects of China's commercial space sector is the fierce competition among private companies. Caspace, a spin-off of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, faces rivals like China Rocket Company, the developer of the Geelong-3 rocket. Geelong-3, a small lift rocket with similar payload capabilities to Lajin-1, has completed four successful launches, including its most recent in September. This rivalry has driven innovation, but also heightened pressure for companies to deliver flawless results. A single failure, like the Lajin-1 incident, can have significant implications for market perception and client trust. International collaborations further raised the stakes. Caspace's November mission, which deployed a remote sensing satellite for Oman, was a landmark achievement showcasing China's ability to attract and serve global clients. This success is part of a broader trend where Chinese companies are increasingly partnering with international organizations. However, failures like the Lijin-1 incident could challenge China's ability to maintain its reputation as a reliable launch provider. Looking to the future, CAS Space is focusing on advancing its technology to stay competitive. The upcoming Lijin-2 rocket, scheduled for launch in 2025, will use kerosene liquid oxygen fuel a significant upgrade over the solid propellant design of Lijin-1. This transition reflects a broader industry trend toward more efficient and versatile launch vehicles. The Lijin-2 is expected to handle heavier payloads and more complex missions, positioning CAS space to compete not only domestically but also on a global scale. China's commercial space ambitions also include building mega-constellations like Qianfan and Gaoang, which will require a high cadence of reliable launches. These projects aim to create networks of satellites for communications, navigation, and remote sensing, further cementing China's role in the global space economy. Failures like the Lijin 1Y6 mission are disappointing, but they're also invaluable learning opportunities. They remind us that space exploration is one of the most challenging endeavors humanity undertakes. For China, this failure doesn't overshadow its record-breaking achievements in 2024. Instead, it highlights the resilience and ambition of a country that is not afraid to push boundaries. As we look to the future, it's clear that China's commercial space sector will play a pivotal role in the global space race. With plans for new rockets, mega constellations, and international collaborations, the lessons learned from this failure will only make the industry stronger. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.